Dear students, our lesson today is titled Information Ethics and the Issues Related to Smartphones and Social Media. We all use the internet daily for searching, communicating, and sharing photos and videos. But have we stopped to ask, is what we publish safe? Do we respect others' privacy? And do we adhere to the laws? These questions lead us to the concept of information ethics, which encompasses the values and behaviors we must adhere to in the information world. Points to consider when publishing information. First, characteristics of information on the internet. What is published spreads very quickly and is difficult to delete. For example, a photo on Facebook can be shared hundreds of times in minutes. It is not permissible to share photos or videos of others without permission. Avoid posting personal information such as full names or phone numbers. Sharing content without permission is considered a breach of copyright. Posting photos without permission may harm others' privacy. Avoid offensive comments or cyberbullying, as it leaves a serious psychological impact on victims. Geotagging. Some photos and videos carry data that precisely identifies the location, known as geotagging. Its danger lies in the fact that it may reveal your home or private places. Therefore, it is better to disable this feature when sharing photos. Disinformation and rumors. Not all information we see is accurate. Disinformation. False information published intentionally. Rumors. Unfounded rumors that spread quickly. Thus, it is essential to always verify the source before sharing any news. Secondly. Issues related to smartphones and social media apps like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram allow us to communicate and learn, but they can cause problems when misused. Key Issues Internet Addiction This is a condition where a student excessively uses the internet to the extent that it affects their daily life. Instead of being a means for learning or communication, the internet becomes an obstacle that wastes time and impacts studies and relationships. For example, a student spends hours gaming and neglects their homework. The solution is to organize time and set limited usage periods. Using smartphone while walking this habit seems simple but is very dangerous. Looking at your phone while walking reduces focus and may lead to collisions or traffic accidents. How many times have we seen someone trip because they were texting while walking? The rule here is, if you need to use your phone, stop first, then continue on your way. Cybercrime, these are crimes committed online, such as hacking accounts, stealing money, or spreading viruses. These crimes are real and punishable by law. For example, an anonymous email asks you to click on a link, stealing your data. Protection comes from using strong passwords and not clicking on unknown links. Identity theft, this means that someone impersonates you to deceive others or steal your information. For instance, using your picture and name to open a new account. This can cause you financial or social problems. Dear students, technology is not just a means of entertainment. It is a great responsibility.